Hi guys and welcome back. So today we got our new frame. This one was from Banggood. Uh, it's called the FS215 and it looks like a bunch of the new, <laughs> almost every single frame that's coming out is looking so goddamn similar. It's just insane. So let's pop this guy open. It's crazy because I just see, it's like, it's like I reviewed this or I seen this or, you know, everything is just, I think it's just this one manufacturer that's rebranding for a lot of people for like a very good price or something. So this one's going for $33.99 at the current moment of time of me recording it. Uh, so it's, as well, I can tell, it's a top mount battery from the picture. And this is the good anti-slip uh, pad thingies that it comes with. So and it, they do give you, oh, this is nice, nice battery strap, but it's, it's smaller than usual. So if you're using... 6s lipos that ain't gonna work all right so we got a battery strap we got red standoffs we got this uh i think this is going to be acting more of a as a nut and at the same time to hold the arms in place with this board here and i think these are the camera plates we're gonna check them out let's check them out now so there we go all right so yeah i'm guessing these are the camera place side places these are they seem two millimeter this seems two millimeter also for the legs for the arms. This is kind of what they're doing with the with the Jeb uh, RC. This is what they did here. They use this instead of using you know single nuts or self locking nuts or the ones that just engrave into the frame. So that's that's what they're doing here. I like this a lot, but it, oh, the problem with this is it takes a lot of extra space. And like I said, we have the red. They're very nice standoffs. I prefer the knurled standoffs because one thing they're lighter. Another thing you could grip them while you're tightening it down. And we got our upper plate and bottom plate. And let's quickly take a measurement of uh, their thickness here. So let's just see. Two, it's two millimeter. And two millimeter. Yeah, so every, everything, every single piece board here is two millimeter. Let's go ahead and check out the arms. So that's great. We got four arms. Sometimes I wish they gave me five arms. But that never happens. Well, I mean, four is better than three, right? So they're roughly almost four millimeters you get 3.8 millimeters the arms are 3.8 millimeters here 3.9 3.9 yeah they're about the same yeah 3.8 so, we'll, so we'll, we'll i don't know if we can say four we'll give it we'll just say the arms are 3.8 millimeters here because it's pretty consistent so yeah and then obviously we get our hardware so let's just put it together and see how it looks like Alright guys, so it's fully assembled here. It didn't take very long time. It was very nice. Everything fit perfect. That's one of the first things. But I think they used a bit too much standoffs. Uh, that's going to increase the overall weight, but it does feel like a tank. Now, flex, it has some flex. Like out of 10, I would give it an 8. So like 8 isn't good. It's 10 being the best, 1 is being the shittiest. So it's around an 8, so that's pretty good in that perspective. The carbon looks good. It looks okay. Uh, it seems like it's cut correctly. Um, the I really do like this piece right here. This little aluminum nut kind of ish thingy. I don't know what it would be called bracket. Uh, it just it just fit flush together perfect. All the all the hardware was there. They're using medium. They're using okay hardware. So uh, not the best and not the worst. So that's very nice to see. It is a five inch quadcopter. And <clears throat> let's start getting some of its dimensions here. So this is a top mount battery uh, frame here. It's for freestyle, obviously. We get around 24 millimeters of space inside, but not including this bracket. So you're gonna include. So you could say we're probably gonna have around 19 millimeters of space in that stack. You're possibly pushing it here. We do have an SMA port here and some little holes to hold your uh, VTX if you wanted to stick it out either here or you had just one you wanted just to connect right there. You could totally do that. We have our cutouts right there for our battery, which is nice to see. Camera protection, I totally see camera protection, but I could be wrong. But it seems it's very recessed in to give us good camera protection here. Um, it's, it's a very nice little frame, actually. How much does it cost? $33? It's, it's, it's a very nice frame to start off with. You do have a lot of room in here. Um, they do cut most of the carbon out, as you can tell. They do this to reduce weight. But at the same time, it reduces you know structural integrity. So let's get its weight because that's the moment of truth because that's what a lot of people really care about. 104 grams? I was expecting this to be around 130. 104 grams, that's crazy for all the... Car that, that's very good for the amount of rigidity and parts in here. 
that that that's very good. That's that's insane. That's that's nice. That, that's what I'm trying to say. That's pretty awesome, actually, for thirty three bucks. So this is a pretty good. Well, by weight, I don't know flat characteristics, but the wheelbase is stating is two fifteen. Two fifteen is a pretty good wheelbase. Um, but you know we're gonna have to see the overall center of gravity and all that kind of crazy good stuff. And once you fly it, we'll figure it out if it's any good or not. But um, overall. It's a nice little frame. Let's check just the width of the arms here because we didn't. It's around 13 millimeters. So you got 13 millimeters in width and um, in height. Like we mentioned, 3.8. Every other plate is 2 millimeter on board. And um, yeah, so, you know, you could even reduce the weight. You could probably even drop it down to 100 grams if you removed, if you change the standoffs here with the aluminum ones. And if you were to do that mod to it, it would be, you would need the. You would need 30 millimeter standoffs to get for that mod uh, for it to work. Overall, it's a nice little frame. Here it is. It looks pretty cool. It's a freestyle frame, obviously. It looks like it could take a beating, that's for sure. Uh, GoPro mounting solution looks good-ish, kind of, for me, for the type that I use. Because I have, I could put a zip tie through here and a zip tie through here and maybe another one through here. And I could keep it pretty rigid. So I really like that. Then you have all that space for the battery here. So you're gonna need like battery that big because you're depending on how you set up your antenna. So overall, it's a it's a pretty nice little frame here. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And don't forget to check out my Patreon. I do awesome giveaways there. I do like three to four giveaways per month. Micros, everything, almost everything you see on the channel, I end up giving away. And uh, it really supports the channel, it keeps it going. And uh, you can also use affiliate links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And go ahead and check out my application, my website. I do awesome things there, sell things for awesomely cheap. I work with big companies uh, to bring us, you know, some nice little deals every now and then. For example, there was one with just Maytech. We just finished the Maytech F405, but there's another one with Tico 32 ESCs, which are these are the best components I've ever tested. That's why I talked to these manufacturers for getting them. For drop dead cheap prices and they just immediately sell out so make sure you download the application sign up to the newsletter so you don't miss out and um this way you get immediate notification you can get what you want before it's gone because it just flies like within 10 minutes when i had the maytech boards all of them were gone every single one of them i, I wasn't expecting that I just released the push notification the emails uh, the emails are a little bit slower sometimes, but, you know, it's better to have the application. The iOS app's almost finished. I'm still talking with Apple on the review. And, um, yeah, and that's it, guys. So if you wanted to check this frame out, check the link down below. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.